Hello everyone, welcome to the new episode of Tech Facts and I will be presenting some very interesting tech news. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon as whenever I post a video, you get a notification without fail. So, let's start. Microsoft has finally announced the availability and pricing of both its next generation consoles. The Xbox Series X is priced at $499 in US and €500 Euros in Europe and will be available starting November 10. It will be launched alongside the Xbox Series S which as we know is priced at $299. So now let's see when this Xbox Series X and the Xbox Series S gets launched in India. The Samsung Galaxy M51 announced at the start of last week has arrived in India. It comes in two memory configurations, the 6GB RAM and 128GB storage priced at 24,999 and the 8GB RAM plus 128GB storage priced at 26,999 rupees. You can buy the one in celestial black or the electric blue color starting from September 18 from Amazon.in and Samsung's local online store. The Galaxy M51 has a Snapdragon 730G SoC at the helm and runs under 10 out of the box. It's built around a 6.7 inch Infinity O Super AMOLED Plus display of Full HD Plus resolution that has a punch hole on the top in the center for the 32MP selfie camera. Around the back you get 64MP Sony IMX682 camera that's joined by 12MP ultra wide, 5MP macro and 5MP depth sensor modules. The rest of the features of the Galaxy M51 include a side mounted fingerprint reader, USB-C port, 3.5mm headphone jack, a dedicated micro SIM SD slot for the storage expansion by 512GB and Dolby Atmos audio enhancements. Fueling the entire package is massive 7000mAh battery with which Samsung claim can go up from flat to 100% in 150 minutes with bundled 25W fast charger. And there's reverse wired charging as well, meaning you can use the Galaxy M51 as a power bank to juice up other devices with the Type-C to Type-C cable that, that comes in the box. So are you going to buy the Samsung Galaxy M51? Tell me in the comment section below. Just Tuesday we got to learn most of the Realme 7i's basic specs. Then yesterday we saw renders of the Realme 7i that revealed the phone in its full glory. Today the phone was registered on Geekbench website running on Snapdragon 662 chipset alongside 8GB of RAM and running Android 10. The Realme 7 and 7 Pro was announced last week in India but the 7i is yet to be announced. The 7i is already confirmed to be arriving on September 17 as teased by the Realme Indonesia. Other specs as per the leak side include 128GB of storage, a 6.5 90Hz HD Plus display with punch hole 16MP camera, a rare mounted fingerprint scanner and a 5000mAh battery with 18 watt charging. The main quad camera setup consists of 8MP camera, 64MP main camera and 2 dual MP cameras, each presumed to be macro and depth sensor. So now let's see when and at what price will Realme release the upcoming Realme 7i in India. One year ago, Huawei introduced its own operating system, Harmony OS. Today's CEO Richard Yu announced Harmony 2 OS 2.0 during the keynote at the annual Huawei Development Conference and it's finally expanding to more devices. The OS is built with cross-platform functionality from the ground up with the support ranging from the smart TVs to smartphones, a car hit units and of course the smartphones. The OS is built with cross-platform functionality from the ground up with support ranging from the smart TVs to smartwatches, car head units and of course smartphones. The Harmony US 2.0 SDK for smart TVs, watches and car head lights will be available starting tomorrow while the version of the smartphones is coming later in December. So I'm just asking a question, do you think that Huawei can overtake Apple sometime in near future or it's nearly impossible? Tell me in the comment section below. A couple of renders of the Moto E7 Plus leaked last month along with the few specs which gave us a good idea of what to expect from Motorola's affordable smartphone. The Moto E7 Plus will boost Android 10 and have Snapdragon 460 SoC under the hood with 4GB RAM and 64GB storage but it will also come with micro SD card slot for storage expansion. The smartphone will support a 6.5 inch LCD display which will put up a notch on the top for 8MP selfie camera. Around the back you'll get a 48MP primary camera with night vision which will be joined by 2MP depth sensor. Below this camera is a fingerprint reader for biometric authentication. The phone weighs 200 grams and packs a 5000 mAh battery that will draw power through a micro USB port at up to 10 watts. The Moto E7 Plus will also come with 3.5mm headphone jack and is confirmed to have at least two color options. The 64MP model will price at 149 euros in Europe but it will be cheaper in Germany. 
there is no word about from Motorola about the Moto E7 Plus yet but since the Moto 6 Plus was announced last year in September we expect the E7 Plus to go official anytime now. So are you interested for this Moto E7 Plus? Tell me in the comment section below. Right after its Harmony OS 2.0 and EM UI 11 announcement, Huawei showed out its new smart accessories with the Huawei Watch GT Pro and the FreeBuds Pro TWS earphones. The Watch GT2 Pro is a Huawei's flagship smartphone offering and feature, features a premium blend of sapphire glass, titanium body and ceramic black. You get a control of 1.639 inch OLED display with 454 into 454 pixel resolution and two side buttons for control. The watch also comes with built-in GPS, compass and music playback. It's powered by the Huawei's Kirin A1 chipset paired with 32GB RAM and 4GB onboard storage. It's powered by the Huawei's Kirin A1 chipset paired with 32MB RAM and 4GB onboard storage. It offers tracking of over 100 workout models including distinct profiles for swimming, skiing and snowboarding as well as golf. Hikers can also enjoy the route back functionality which can trace your route starting point. There's true scene 4.0 heart rate tracking as well as sleep, stress and blood oxygen tracking. Battery life is said to be 14 days of typical usage, 30 hours with GPS enabled and 24 hours of music playback. The Huawei Watch GT2 Pro starts at €329 for the Sport variant and goes up to €349 for the Classic Trim. Both will be available later this month. The Huawei FreeBuds Pro sit on the top of Huawei's TWS earphones food chain. They offer ANC with Dynamite profile that just adjusts the level of noise cancellation depending on the environment. Battery life with the charging case is rated at 30 hours without ANC and on 20 hours with it switched on. The Huawei FreeBuds Pro come in black, white and silver colors and will return for €199 Euros when they go on sale in October. So let's see if Huawei launches these devices in India or not. We already saw the upcoming Vivo V20 earlier this week and we also got word from that an SC1 Pro model will launch alongside it. Now an official promo poster from V20 SC surface revealing the phone is indeed around the corner. Previously, the V20 SC was spotted on Geekbench as the Vivo V2022 with a Snapdragon 665 chipset and 8 GB of RAM. The V20 SC will be an entry-level phone in the V20 series. The phone also backed the China quality certification, revealing it comes with a 33W fast charging support. We'll be on the lookout for more clues on Vivo's V20 series in the coming weeks. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Jai Hind, Vande Matram.